Welcome to the Supermicro Green series on the top 10 best practices for creating and implementing a green data center. Supermicro is known as an industry leader in green computing and offers a wide range of energy efficient servers. Globally, data centers use between 1% and 3% of energy today. And this is expected to increase significantly over the next few years. In addition to saving energy, E-waste can be reduced with the proper planning and execution when looking at new servers. There are a number of actions that IT administrators and data center operators can take to reduce their energy consumption. I am Michael Schulman, and I will be your host today. Today we're going to talk about right-sizing your systems to match your workload requirements. With me today is Jerry Dean, who is the Director of System Solutions here at Supermicro. Welcome, Jerry. Hi. Okay, so Supermicro has a wide range of servers. Can you kind of briefly talk about these product lines? Sure, Michael. It's well known that Supermicro offers a wide variety of product solutions. We have some of the broadest portfolios when it comes to server lines themselves. You know, we always integrate the latest tech trends as well as pushing the bar when it comes to innovation to the server products. Our line consists of rack mount platforms, which are the Hyper, Cloud DC, WIO, Mainstream, Multiprocessors, as well as Workstation platforms. If you're looking for some density, we also have our Multinode platforms, which consist of our very popular Big Twin products, our Twin Pros, Fat Twins, Super Blades, and Micro Blades. And if you're looking for something a little bit more specialized as storage, there's our Super Storage solution, as well as looking at accelerator platforms with our GPU optimized as well as our universal GPUs. And last but not least, we also have IoT and embedded solutions that really target the 5G edge space. So Supermicro has a well-rounded portfolio that you can easily tackle and utilize any one of these platforms for your application. So how does a customer go through the process of deciding what's best for them? Well, in order to make the best decision, I think the customer really needs to be informed. And some of the ways they can be informed on our amazing product lines is going directly to our website, uh, www.supermicro.com, where we have each and every one of these particular product lines available for them. So they can look at the product sheet, white papers, get more information on the products themselves. Secondly, they can always tap into our resellers as well as our partners to help them um, in terms of picking out those right Supermicro product lines. And lastly, Supermicro is always here to help out our customers. So if there is any questions in terms of how do I select the right product lines, maybe they had some questions on the technologies, Supermicro is always here to stand by to help them assist in that. So there's a lot of technology in, that goes into our servers. What are some of the decision points? What does a customer have to think about to make sure they have the right server that is energy efficient? So there are many factors when it comes to optimizing a server. Ultimately, it really depends on the application or the workload specifically. And some of those things, um, depending on the type of application, uh, could consist of sort of, uh, you know, how much space they have, you know, what's the form factor that they need. You know, we have solutions ranging from 1U all the way up to the 10U uh, form factors for the rack mounts. You know, what type of CPUs? We have a wide variety of ranges that can support a DP and UP uh, type of solution. So if you're looking for a high core count or a very optimized SKU, we have that. We have memory sizes uh, on selected platforms that range from 32, 16, or 8 DIMMs on a particular node itself. There's also PCI Express Gen 5. That's a big thing happening with the current gen solutions. You know, knowing the number of PCI Express lanes and how it's being allocated within the server, whether it's gonna be going towards storage, such as the NVMe portion for direct attach, or is it gonna basically be allocated to expansion IO slots, such as accelerators, networking, FPGA cards. All that really plays into the factor in terms of deciding how the server platform um, can really benefit uh, the customer in terms of choosing the right one. Um, one last thing I also want to mention too is the network uh, capabilities that our servers have. Um, with this newer generation, we also integrated flexible networking. And what that really allows the customer to do is that uh, it takes advantage of what Supermicro released, which is our AIOM module. AIOM is Advanced IO Module. And what this will allow the customer to do is that you choose a baseline server and then you attach an AIOM module to it, which will dictate the type of networking you have on the server itself. And one last benefit that I did want to mention regarding the AIOM module is that not only do we have speeds up to 200 gigabit, but if you are looking for a third party, as long as it's OCP 3.0, it is a superset and will be supported. 
So by, for a customer, by choosing the right components, it means that they can get their applications running faster, which reduces power consumption, you know, and reduces the PUE in the data center, right? That is absolutely correct. So again, it really just depends on the application, the workload, and with our overall portfolio that we have to offer, whether it's gonna be a single node that can optimize the overall uh, node itself for either compute, memory, uh, storage, or even the multi-node, which is really targeted towards our resource saving, which I think what you're alluding to for the PUE, uh, which it will basically have common resources, it, such as the fans, the power supplies, the networking, all in one enclosure. So in theory, there's no one size shoe that will fit every single application. But one nice thing is that with the whole portfolio that we have, there's definitely a super micro solution that can really target that particular space and niche um, to basically give you the most optimized solution for your application. So basically, understand your workloads, pick the proper components, will we, which will lead to energy efficient computing, right? Absolutely. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Thank you, Michael. Supermicro recently published a white paper based on a survey of over 400 IT professionals. This white paper discusses 10 actions that they are taking to reduce their environmental impact of their data centers. You can download the white paper from our Green Computing website, which we will mention at the end of this webinar. Data centers have a significant impact on the environment. It is estimated that 400 terawatt hours of electricity are used annually. An estimated two plus million tons of e-waste are generated by data centers worldwide each year. Although renewable energy is gaining momentum in many areas of the world, there are still some geographies where 80% of electricity is generated from fossil fuels. And we estimate that up to 8 billion trees would not have to be planted each year for carbon offset if data centers worldwide would adopt some of these green computing best practices. To learn more about Supermicro's green computing solutions, please visit www.supermicro.com greencomputing. Thank you.